Hey guys, how's it going? As you know me, I'm David, and I work in the Pima Film Lab. Brandon's also here with me. He's holding the phone recording this. Give a little wave to the camera for Brandon. Let's see, there you go. We're doing our best at this time, practical distancing. A little difficult, especially in our field. I get that. But we are getting through it, and we will get through this, and hopefully come August, we will be working together again. That being said, what I'm going to do is show off some equipment that both me and Brandon both possess. That way you guys keep in mind of stuff that we have at Pima. And for any new and coming students, you get to see some equipment that you will be using at Pima Community College. Uh, first thing is first. C47s. Yes, I know it says on the thing, wooden clothespins. But the story behind why it's called C47s is when a gaffer was actually looking for some clothespins, he had asked them to go grab them for him. They asked him where it was. Hey, they're in, G in, store in drawer C47. That just... Most film terms just come off the neck like that. Uh, you actually reverse it and it becomes a C74, which is a slightly tighter grip on the gel that we'll be hooking up to, or whatever it is that you'll be hooking it up to. All right, another thing. Nice little uh, outlet, ex out, extra outlets. Nice if you uh, need to charge your, your camera batteries, need to plug in more lights, and you're limited on outlets. Plug this in, and you get three more. You get three more outlets to be using. Keeping on outlets. Here's something that most of you guys should be familiar with. Extension cord, or in the film business, stinger. Now, why is it called a stinger? I actually don't know. The reason why I was told is if you get hit by it, it stings you. I believe it. I'm not gonna hit myself with it to prove you to prove it though, but you get the gist of it. Uh Another good thing to have for any good electrician or gaffer who is on set, nice little outlet tester. Oh, you can tell whether or not you're using a good outlet or not. As you can tell, it's color coordinated. What you would like to have is two orange lights. Never want that red light. That red light means it's a bad outlet. So let's go ahead and give it a try. And as you see, you got two orange lights. Good little outlet. All right, now I'm going to show off some of the lights I have. Now, the lights I have are a little different than the lights we have at Pima. They're not your average studio film lights. They're not an LED light. They are your photography lights. They work out just as great. Uh, they give a nice bright blue light. So keep in mind when you're filming, it is a bright blue light. So you're going to have to make adjustments on camera if need be. Another thing is that these lights do heat up pretty fast, so you gotta make sure you gotta let them cool off before you put them away, and keep in mind of your talent that it could make them sweaty on camera. So let me go ahead and plug this in. Make sure it's off first. All right, and striking. Nice, bright blue. Great light in the night. Unfortunately, it does attract the moss when you're filming at nighttime talking about experience. Normally I would have this on a light stand and an umbrella hooked up to it, but right before all this had happened, I was on a film set and I did leave my stance and my umbrellas behind at a buddy's house of mine. So this works for the time being. All right, another set of lights I do have are these cool little bar lights. A little different, you don't tend to see these types of lights generally used. The good thing about these lights is if you're shooting inside a car, you need a light inside a car without using your battery in the car, these lights will actually work perfectly. The thing is, there's no on and off switch for these lights, so as soon as you plug them in, they turn on. So make sure, as a gaffer, when you plug them in, just stay striking. A nice, even lights. And I have two of them, but you could always add more because it does have these small little pins, double pins. If you have more bar lights to add, you can add more. You can add a whole grid of these if need be. 
All right. Next thing. Every camera operator, director of photography should know this and should be using this religiously. It's a tripod. Very, very handy. Make sure makes your shot steady. Now I know it's an sometimes it's an artiste's choice to make the shot shaky, unsteady, that whatever it may be. But I've always been a proponent that a tripod, a camera on a tripod makes your video look professional. Great thing about this is that it does move around. As long as you uh, loosen it up and everything. By using a pins and knobs. Tilt and pan. Nice little fluid head. Get yourself canted angles, Dutch angles, whatever you need. All right, uh, H4N Zoom Audio Recorder. Let's say you're recording on camera and that camera can't record audio, much like our C100s and our Reds. You're gonna, every time you check those out, you'll get some uh, models similar to this. You guys got newer models, this is my older model. Works just as well, takes AA batteries, SD card, you're good to go. Uh, the good thing about these is that they don't take too much memory to record audio. Get yourself a four gigabyte SD card, you're good to go, it'll record hours, transfer it over, delete it, you get more. Shotgun microphone. Pretty simple. Point, you point it, get your audio, make sure XLR cable is plugged in, both into the uh, microphone and into your, whatever your recorder is, whether it's a Zoom or there are others, there's a, um, I don't know we had a Pima. Uh, the uh, Sennheisers? Oh no, that's the uh, that black, big black cord that we had. Oh, Tascam? Yeah, or it's, uh, yeah, you always had Zooms, Tascams, and I'm pretty sure there are more others than just those. Those are just the ones I'm naming off the top of my head. XLR cable. External line return. I actually just learned... Uh, acronym for that surprisingly enough and you've not been doing this for a long time but no it's great because it does work for your audio equipment because it provides an extra layer of uh, protection with the power surge it does give off works with audio cameras speakers whatever it needs to be if it's a powerful amp that's being returned most of the time you will be seeing these male to female three pins Boom pole. Simple. Mic goes here. Hold it up like this. Move it around to get your, sh to get your audio. Uh, that's about all I have to show you for today. I hope to show you more in the next coming week. Stay safe and wash your hands.